the victory celebrations of Tiger Woods were once a familiar, almost routine sight. Between 1997 and 2008, the American collected 14 major titles, playing some of the greatest shots ever seen. Oh, oh it's in. Oh. It's in. But in recent years, we've become used to seeing Tiger play shots more like this one from a sponsor's day last year. That's in the water. He's older, he's gone through a lot of physical ailments. And, and just the older part alone, you don't make as many putts at 40 as you did at 24. I would never say never with Tiger, but he's really up against it, having to play against these young guys now who are fearless, hit the ball as far as they do, and he's got to come out with a modified golf game and try and compete with them, so it's going to be a difficult task. But... The game's changed dramatically in these five years. I, I have serious reservations that he's, he's ever going to come back to this, this type of level. Um, he's been out of the game for a while now, and just the fact that it's a back injury that has sidelined him frightens me for his future as a, as a real high, world-class caliber player. Tiger's best days are behind him, but it'd just be great to have him competing again. But if you keep shooting 70, if you routinely finish 20th and 24th, and Rory and Dustin and all these other people are winning tournaments, uh, I'd be really curious to see how the reaction to him changes, not in a bad way, but just the interest level will, will have to wane at some point because we all want to see top performance. And I'm not sure he can give, give you that much longer. When he returns now, the game's in a different place. At the end of the PGA Tour last year, the, there was something like 20 wins for, from 25 and under. That never happened when Woods was at his prime. I do not think you'll ever see him play in a Ryder Cup again, no. Sitting still is how you get better. That's not in my nature. Those were hard times. And unfortunately, I've had to go through it three times now. And hopefully that'll be it. Now I'm to a point where I can progress and now work out to get stronger and to start developing. I have been practicing at home and uh, I'm, I'm progressing nicely. I'm excited to play and compete and win golf tournaments. I, I miss being out here on inside the ropes and I miss competing against these guys. Your bad days can't be 74, 75, 76s. And they got to be 69s and 70s, 71s. And um, I just need to get back to that. Today I want to name uh, two more vice captains. That would be Steve Stricker and Tiger Woods. My goal is to make the team, but whatever happens over the course of this season, I will continue to do whatever I can to help us keep the cup. The struggle of Tiger Woods to return to the tour has been well documented. I found a lot of inspiration watching Tiger. I mean, what his back is, I think it's way worse than mine. I haven't seen his scans, but just to see what he's been able to do, how much he's been able to play is really, really inspiring as somebody that's like, that's not only do I admire him as a golfer, but to see how he's move past an injury like a back surgery and a fusion is just incredible. I went from just hoping to be able to play the tour, you know, to now that I feel like I, I can play the tour and I, I certainly can win again. Uh, I've had an opportunity to, uh, to win a couple times this year. My game's gotten better and, and good enough where that I, I feel like I can win again you know, out here on tour. Having started the year ranked outside the world's top 600, Tiger Woods is back in the top 50, thanks to his highest major finish in five years at the Open. For many, including Woods himself, it's raised expectations of what he can still achieve in the game. I was just hoping to, one, play the tour long enough to be able to get a, an opportunity, but I also had to play well to do it. And I was ranked pretty far <laughs> in the world there. <laughs> You know, starting last December, I was about 1,200 in the world, and now to, you know, within a year to get down to 50 is, uh, I think, is a pretty good accomplishment. Tiger has changed expectations. He tempered his expectations earlier in the year because he had no idea what this back was going to do. And so he took it slower than usual, and now he's reached a point where I believe he expects to win. He has finally gotten to that point where he's gone through everything. He knows what his back is doing. Health-wise, he's perfect. Um, he hasn't had a problem, he hasn't had a setback. 
to me, it was the best he's looked all year. It was at the Open Championship at Carnoustie. And coming off that, everything is laid out perfectly for him right now. And I think in his mind, he expects, when he goes to that first tee, he expects to win. Tiger's performance at Carnoustie certainly challenged the doubters, who thought he'd never return to the pinnacle of the game following his injury woes. He took the outright lead on Sunday, sparking hysteria in the golfing world, before his title bid ultimately fell short. I said it was going to sting for a while, and um, it certainly does, because I had, a, I had a great chance at it. I played myself into a great position. I, I was tied for the lead at one point, and actually ended up leading outright for just a little bit. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was kind of laughing at it because most of the, uh, the media at the time were skeptical of my game plan, and my game plan played myself right into the lead. And so that, that part I'm, that I was very positive about, uh, but just the way I, I made a couple of mistakes there at 11 and 12, um, ended up costing me the, a chance of, w of winning the tournament. However, Tiger's disappointing weekend at the WGC Bridgestone Invitational, where he shot two rounds of three over, suggests his game is not quite there just yet. In spite of that disappointing performance at Firestone, there's still hope for Tiger fans that he can rediscover his A-game, and if he can get his driver under control, he's got a chance this week. Again, they saw what he used to do, which was the greatest that they've ever seen, and they just hope to see it again and he's given us glimpses of it, and so that's why he still will always be the pulse of this tour as long as he's out here. I think this is as healthy as he's gonna be, and this is, this is what, the people who wanted him to rush back, this is better than what they could have expected. Those of us who kept saying, listen, don't come back until you're 100% healthy so we can have you for the longest amount of time, that's what we have now with this Tiger Woods, a healthy guy who's playing good golf, can get in contention, and who knows? That's what karma smells like right there. That's, man, that's karma. That's, that's karma. I'm pretty sure that's something, something big might be happening. The golfing world is most certainly on a high following Tiger Woods' first win in five years. He will, of course, be part of Team USA at this week's Ryder Cup and will be looking to continue his new lease of life for close friend and captain for the week, Jim Furyk. When you look at now comparing maybe pre past Ryder Cups, to this one, I think what's so special is, is Tiger has ingrained himself in our team atmosphere and, and became such a big part of the team in 2016 uh, as a vice captain. And then again in 2017 as an assistant captain of the President's Cup, I think it's special for him uh, now to kind of join these younger players, you know, as a teammate. But, uh, you know, what's important to him right now, what's special for him is to be a part of that team, to be a part of that group. I spent 25 years uh, playing professional golf with Tiger Woods on the scene and you know anytime he does anything great that's that's the story and that's what we, where we want to see him we, we want to see him at the top of the game he does so much for the game of golf these are 24 of the best players in the world and you know when they they go up against each other they are all capable of amazing things on both sides um, we don't fear anyone because we played against them so many times before individually, but we respect our opponents and know what we're up against. And that's, I think, is the, the key to all of this. It's a 12 on 12 type of atmosphere. And I think he really enjoys that right now. He won yesterday as an individual, and I know how much that means to him and how important it was, but uh, he's flipped that you know, that page pretty quickly and is really excited to join his teammates and, and move forward in that process. I think as you age, you, you, uh, your skill level diminishes. And uh, I think you begin to fear things you didn't used to fear. And I think then overcoming those fears is a sense of accomplishment that uh, very few understand. Tiger Woods understands it. He just overcame a lot of fears to do what he did. And, uh, I have a great amount of admiration for people that can do that and recover their game. Hal knows Tiger well, in no small part due to their time spent together at the Ryder Cup. And Sutton was impressed by his compatriot's emotional tour championship triumph. I spoke to him for a few minutes the other night, just he and I, and I saw a, a sense of relief and a sense of pride for the accomplishment of it. 
I saw peace in him, and I think he knows what he's capable of now. He was close, didn't quite get there, but he kept coming and didn't lose the belief in himself. He just got better and better and better. I mean, the whole world could feel this coming. You know, and he didn't just win. He led from start to finish. On East Lake, that's pretty powerful. Tiger has overcome many adversities. And uh, in fact, this latest feat that he had, most people couldn't have overcome. And I mean, that shows what Tiger's all about. Uh, he's grown tremendously as a person. He understands himself better than he's ever understood himself. And uh, wisdom has sunk in to Tiger.